Do you know annually around the world at least 2.5 million metric tons of tuna fish are caught just to fill up those cans we see on supermarket shelves? The global canned tuna market was valued at $87 billion in 2021 and is projected to reach a value of $12.5 billion by 2028. With North America dominating the market due to increasing consumption, particularly in the United States and Canada, canned tuna is a popular choice for sandwiches, salads, and many other dishes. It's widely eaten around the globe and is harvested in over 70 countries. Ever wondered how the millions of tuna cans we see on shelves are made? Let's take a journey from the sea to the shelf, exploring the entire process of canning tuna. From the moment the fish is brought in from the fishing vessels to the point where the tuna meat is cleaned and packed into cans, we'll uncover every step. Tuna, especially plentiful in the Pacific Ocean, is caught by boats equipped with cooling systems to freeze the fish instantly, ensuring they remain fresh until they arrive at the processing facilities. The concept of canned food, interestingly, dates back to 1909 in the United States, more specifically on the West Coast. However, the first canned foods traced back even earlier to 1810, thanks to Peter Duran, a British inventor who created the first cylindrical can. It wasn't until the 20th century that a company from A Coruña, Spain, started producing canned light tuna. Canning tuna began in the early 1900s as a way to keep fish edible for months or even years without refrigeration. This preservation technique can extend a product's shelf life to anywhere from one to five years. Cans, usually made of steel, are tightly sealed to keep out ultraviolet light, oxygen, and microbes. Packed with 24 to 25 grams of protein per serving, canned tuna is not only convenient but also a nutritious option that, according to research, may offer even more protein than its fresh counterpart. The process begins with the tuna being frozen directly on the fishing boats, ensuring the cold chain is maintained until the fish reach the factory. Here, an impressive 25 to 30 tons of tuna are processed daily. The quality of each batch is thoroughly checked upon arrival from the suppliers. Using a saw, workers cut off the head, belly, and tail of the fish, preparing the loins for the next stages of production. These tuna loins are then cooked in large quantities, 14 meters long, designed to hold about 10,000 kilos of tuna. This isn't just any storage. It's a special setup that keeps the tuna's taste, texture, and nutritional goodness intact. To do this, the tuna goes through a steaming process. This steam is constantly monitored by probes, like little thermometers, inserted inside the slice. After about three hours, the tuna is cooked. But the journey doesn't end there. Before moving on, the tuna needs a chill session in special rooms to shake off any extra moisture, guaranteeing the final product is top-notch. This steaming step also helps by getting rid of some of the fat, making it easier to peel off the skin and take out the bones once it's cooled down. Next, the tuna hits the cleaning tables. This is where the magic of separating the edible parts from the skin and bones happens. Workers dive in to get rid of any bits we don't want to eat, like bones, scales, skin, and fins. They also check to make sure everything's looking good. Depending on what it's going to be packed in, the tuna might get cut in different ways. But there's also a high-tech side to this. Picture an automated department where canned tuna gets packed through five production lines, all running super efficiently. The clean tuna loins are then ready for the canning phase. An operator feeds these loins into a chute, which then funnels them into a machine that gives them a cylindrical shape and packs them neatly into cans. These cans, now filled with tuna, zip along a conveyor to a vacuum sealer. Each of these machines can handle up to 600 cans a minute. To keep the tuna fresh for a long time, it's soaked in liquids like sunflower, olive oil, or even salt water, depending on what the company prefers. Finally, as the cans journey down the conveyor belt, they're topped off with broth or olive oil depending on what's needed for each product. First up, brine and olive oil are carefully measured and poured into each can. Then, lids are automatically placed on top of each can before they head into a vacuum sealer. Here, all the air is sucked out and the lid is sealed on tight. Real people keep an eye on this process to make sure each can is sealed just right with no mistakes. 
The machines used in this step have steam jets to ensure the lids are applied properly. These sealers work fast, handling anywhere from 100 to 800 cans per minute. After sealing, the cans are washed and placed into baskets, ready for a steamy session in autoclaves. Essentially, giant pressure cookers. But first, they get a quick dip in a water bath to wash away any oily residue. Then it's off to the autoclaves with the help of powerful magnets that lift and transport the cans into metal baskets. Inside these autoclaves, 12 baskets at a time, the tuna is cooked and sterilized with up to 12,000 cans handled in one go. This step is crucial because it's all about sterilization, ensuring the product is clean and safe to eat for a long time. Special cameras monitor the temperature closely, making sure everything is perfectly sterile. After this intense steam bath, the cans, still hot, are cooled down with a splash of cold water. This prevents any issues by the time they reach the supermarket shelves. Finally, before the production process wraps up, the sealed cans get one more steam treatment. This last step makes sure any remaining bacteria, whether on the can or in the food, is eliminated. It's all about keeping the tuna safe and extending its shelf life. After the tuna cans are sterilized with heat, they need a quick wash and then a chill down with ice water. This cooling step is crucial because it stops any microorganisms from sneaking in and growing inside the can after it's been cooked and sterilized. Once they're nice and cool, the cans are taken out of the baskets and moved over to a cooling area to bring down their temperature even more. Next up, we sort the cans and then pick out samples from each batch. These samples go through some serious testing in the lab to make sure everything's up to snuff. This is the last hurdle the tuna cans have to clear before they're ready to hit the shelves. Now it's time to get these cans looking sharp with labels that tell you all about what's inside. Then, they're boxed up in cardboard and prepped to travel all over the globe. But hold on, there's one more step before these cans leave the factory. The manufacturers give them one last look to catch any cans that got dinged up or damaged. They even hang onto the cans for a bit to make sure none of them start swelling up, a sure sign something's not right. Only the perfect cans make it out the door and onto the market. This is the process of making a delicious can of tuna, a blend of nature, technology, and careful checks, all to ensure that what ends up on your plate is delicious and safe. Next time you enjoy tuna, think of the journey it's been on. Cheers to your next meal.